Hello, and right here playing Farming Simulator 22 on Elm Creek. And as I mentioned last episode, everyone, we're going to be focusing on cows here this episode. But first things first, though, uh, between episodes, I'm going to did finish planting field 56 and 57. I'm thinking we're just going to put oats on 30, 31, and 32 here as well. That's, mm, excuse me, my uh, thoughts anyway everyone, at this point. I don't know if there's any other crops we, like, absolutely need. So I'm thinking we're just going to put oats on that field, that one, and we'll probably end up, uh, you know, just maybe selling some of those oats. So let's go grab our plant and tractor here. I think I brought that back to the farm. Yes, I did. We're just going to run this across the road here real quick, throw a hired worker on this. And to be honest, I don't think I'm going to bother rolling field 56 and 57. Up until this point, when I've pretty much rolled most fields, I probably will with 30, 31, and 32, Evan, because this field has small rocks on it. So we'll roll it to get those small, get rid of those small rocks. But again, 56, 57, Evan does not have rocks. It had large rocks. We had to pick up with the, uh, well, the big rock picker, right? So. Yeah, and again, like I said, Evan, it's 1.2% yield increase. I mean, I just don't think it's worth it here uh, for the time and the fuel and the hired worker costs. That just the, the price of the roller, everyone, doesn't make sense to roll, if you ask me. At least not on that field. Again, this field maybe does because it's got the small rocks. But I'm wondering, I wonder if we have small rocks, if, you know, if I don't push these rocks down next time around, I mean, will we have large rocks? I don't know, maybe we should try that one of these times. Anyway, we're setting oats. Fertilizer's good. Hire the worker. Away he goes. Trying to get out of the way here. There we go. And, and speaking of the roll here again, to have one, I, I know if you watch some of the other uh, YouTubers online, they've mentioned 2.5% yield increase, Evan. I have no idea how those individuals are getting a 2.5% increase, everyone. Uh, all the numbers I have ran on this every single time, without fail, have come back at 1.2%. So, a far cry of the 2.5% other ones are getting. So, I, I, I don't know what's up with that, everyone. No idea. If I may be doing something wrong... Uh, someone in the comments did mention maybe, you know, game mode. Like, well, if you're in one of the different game modes, that's how you get a higher percentage. Seems doubtful to me, but you never know. Might be worth looking into. And you know what? This way is kind of blacked off, isn't it? Oh, I'll go around the other way here. Thinking we're probably going to end up making a couple of trips back and forth to the shop here this episode, everyone. Uh, bales and who knows what else we might need. We're going to kind of figure it out here, so to speak. So anyway... Uh, if you didn't see last episode, everyone, and again, we're kind of heavily focusing on the factories here. Uh, we bought the dairy factory along with a couple other factories. I don't remember which factories we all bought here, to be honest. I mean, we bought a bunch of them, right? Uh, we also bought the large cow barn with the automatic feeder. Apparently includes the automatic milkers as well, to be expected, I suppose. And that automatic feeder. No idea how that works. I mean, I guess we're going to find out here. Uh, I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean, but okay, we got... That looks like silage. That looks like straw. And this looks like hay. So, I'm gonna hazard a bet here, everyone. We need to put silage in here, straw in here, hay in there, and it automatically gets fed. Ooh, this is actually good, everyone. I'm, I was thinking, everyone, when I put the cows down, it's like, oh, crap. You know what I just did, everyone, a couple episodes back? As I went and sold our mixing wagon. But... If this does what it looks like it does, everyone, I might not need that mixing wagon. Hmm. Let's find out. First things first, though, I think we need some bales. So, to the shop we go. So, bales, and we can buy, yes, excellent, we can buy silage bales as well. I thought we could. We're going to get eight of those. We're going to get eight of those. Oh, we get a different color, too, yet. Mm, yes, I like some blue ones myself. Thank you. And we need eight Straw bales. Hopefully this will actually take straight up bales. I don't know what we'll find out about. Hopefully it's not like we absolutely need to have loose material here. I guess, uh, yeah, don't know. Okay, and then I need a trailer. Actually, what? 7R. Oh, that's right. I do have... Go back and grab the 7R here. Don't remember if our auto load trailer supports bales or not. I don't think it does, does it? And you know what I didn't do, everyone? I was looking at the mod screen when I started the save game. I was looking through what mods I didn't have active. There was an automatic bail loading trailer. It didn't occur to me to activate that one. Hmm, maybe we should do that. Let's see, do you support bales at all? Don't think it does. Hmm. 
you know, might be worth the effort, everyone, to go uh, pick up that automatic fail loading trail. Let me double check here. I don't think I have any other ones that I know of. We'll just uh, take a better stop track here a minute. Don't know what kind of bad things might be happening in the background there. Where is animals, maybe? Nope. Bale loaders. Yeah, of course we have that one. These are just going to be flat. Okay, you know what? I think what we're going to do, Evan, I'm going to save the game. I'm going to go activate that trailer real quick, and we'll be right back. Okay, Evan, and we're back here. I got that auto load trailer activated here, and I noticed I was going to rehire the worker here. He's missing a little bit along the end. Interestingly enough, even on that first pass there, didn't I have, I don't, maybe I didn't have him lined up. Anyway, we're going to plan a quick headland across here, make it a little easier for the hired worker to turn around. Then we'll go back to uh, take care of the cows here. Um, if the cows straight up take bales of them, this shouldn't take more than like a couple minutes. So we'll be done feeding the cows here. Uh, I was kind of planning on, you know, this whole episode was just, we'll take care of the cows. But uh, if this looks like the way it's going to work, everyone, we're literally going to drop the bales off and might be done. Better not jinx myself on that. We'll better figure that out, make sure it actually works that way here first. But if it does, everyone, this is not going to uh, take long. Yeah, we'll just plan another headland pass on the way back down. That way we're back where we started from. Must be an extra... Oh, you know what? I think what happened, everyone, I made an extra plowing pass along here with a fertilizer. And then the fertilizer spreader probably actually uh, double fertilized that section. So that's why it looks like uh, it's a little bit lighter than the rest. We're not uh, putting down any fertilizer. Although, I say we're not putting down any fertilizer. I mean, it's probably still taking the fertilizer yet. Uh, that's something that always annoying me when it comes to a plant. Now, I mean, if you have a fully fertilized field and you have a planter that puts down fertilizer, I mean, it will probably still use the fertilizer, even though it doesn't need to. Something giants should probably maybe address on that one, actually fix that. Uh, I don't know if you really call it a problem or not, but uh, they should fix that. At least when it came to a course play back in farming sim in 19, everyone, uh, you could in theory turn the fertilizer off. Um, and I say theory, everyone, because that sometimes it works, sometimes it didn't. Kind of like course play. Most of the time it doesn't work, sometimes it does. Okay, back to the 7R. And we'll head up to the shop here. We'll grab that automatic loading bale trailer here. Pretty much just the uh, standard bale trailer that's existed since probably Farming Simulator 13 or 11 or something like that. When this trailer's been out for like a long time. Of course, uh, different versions of auto load have existed for a long time here as well. I'm not sure if we got any uh, like full blown auto load script here yet in Farming Simulator 22. We got some basics, you know, we grabbed the pallets there. Uh, we got some bale loading trailers, but I don't know if anything like the easy auto load script has made it or any of the other uh, the, the UAL auto load script. Not sure if any of those have made it here to Farming Simulator 22 or not. I'm assuming it's going to be under the bale loaders perhaps. No. Okay. Where would I find low loaders? That does not seem like that'd be a proper spot for that. You never know. Miscellaneous? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Miscellaneous category. Extensions standard. We'll just go extensions. Sure. A little bit pricey there. Seventeen thousand. Sorry, there, pal. Just, just kind of moving out of the way here, sneaking through. There we go. And I'm not sure how many bales this trailer holds. I probably said it when I just didn't pay attention. But we should be able to fit all these on this trailer, I would think. Let's find out what the verdict is. So, operating position. Okay. Only allows one bale size at a time. Oh, oh wait. Okay, there it goes. Oh, but we're not going to... Oh. Are those, oh, maybe there's a different size. Okay. Well, we'll come back for those then. Hopefully that will actually auto-load. I'm thinking that it will auto-load. Remember when they just... Maybe the... Silage bales are smaller or they're a different size. I'm not actually sure how that works in the game. I've not done anything with baling yet. 
I do see it has options for bale sizes, so I'm assuming that means you can adjust the size. Okay, I'm back at the farm here. Around the corner here to the back of the barn, and we'll see once what this will do. Now, how do we unload these here? Operating position, unload bale. Why? Excellent. Does it say where they get unloaded to? Well, I guess we don't know. We'll, we'll find out, everyone. Okay, unload bales. Ah. Okay. We just, uh, whoa. Okay, figuring out how to move this. I'm going to just mouse move control there. That lets you move them. Now. Oh, hey, looks like it took the straw already from the looks of it. Oh, yep, there we go. Okay, so that is working. Excellent. Just uh, throw the bales in there, everyone. Perfect. They do take bales. I know a lot of times when it comes to uh, giants, they're a bit of pricks sometimes. When it comes to working with bales, uh, a lot of their stuff won't actually take bales. You have to, like, shred it and stuff like that. So it's nice to see this time around giants is actually, like, made it so you can actually put bales in here. Otherwise, to be honest, in the past, I mean, like there really wasn't much purpose for the bales, right? Like, what are you supposed to do with bales? You can't give them to anything. You have to have shredders and, well, let's face it, dealing with the bales in uh, Farming Simulator. Everyone has always been kind of a pain. I'm just going to stack these up here so they're out of the way. I don't know that it'll continue to pull from them, everyone. At least in the past, if you just put bales like this here... Uh, if something could pull from you, you'd have to, like, move or pull the bale back out, put it back in for it to actually use it. I assume that's probably going to be the case there as well, but it goes out of the way. Okay, let's go see if we can pick up our silage bales here then. I'm quite happy about that, everyone. Quite happy about that. And if I understand this correctly, I'll have to go double check. I don't think we need to give the cows water here either, which uh, I do like that as well, because I always thought that was just, like, stupid. Like, whoever heard of bringing water to your animal barn. It, it probably happens out there somewhere. I'm, I'm, I'm sure probably someone somewhere watching has probably heard of it, but 99% in, in of the time, everyone, I'm sure there's no farmer out there that is, like, buying a water tanker for, you know, $50,000. Or actually, more. What is, what is the big water tanker in the game cost? I mean, animals... Big water tanker. Okay, the bit yeah, the big one, sixty-eight thousand or twenty-five thousand. Yeah, so you buy the big one, sixty-eight thousand for the big water tanker one, and then you got to buy a hundred thousand dollars. You're, you're gonna spend two hundred thousand dollars just to uh, bring your animals water in a building. Yeah, I don't think so. And you're you're gonna spend a couple uh, thousand, if that, maybe, running a pipe from the well up to the building. You're gonna have water that way, and or if you don't have a well, you're gonna for a few more thousand just put a well in. Well, let's face it, I mean, a well is going to be a whole lot cheaper than some of those water trailers are. That is just, like, stupid. So, yeah, nice to see uh, Giants finally came to their senses on that one. Everyone got rid of that uh, stupid mechanic. Unfortunately, we still have it for the greenhouses yet. Uh, oh, well, can't have everything, I guess, right? Hey, all right, it does load the bales. And, yeah, these are smaller bales, aren't they? Okay, then. Yeah, I learned. I'm assuming uh, when the, if they're smaller bales, they probably hold less, right? The big bales are 12,000? No, 8,000. And these are 4,000 then? Oh, 5,000. Okay, just weird numbers. Right, okay. Got it. <laughs> wonder if we should buy some more then. Yeah, that might be a good idea. One. And it looked like the uh, silage bunker was the biggest anyway. So presumably they need more silage than hay and straw. Go ahead and buy another bunk of silage bales here, then. Uh, 
There we go. Definitely not uh, cheap buying bales this way, but the other option, everyone, is I would have to invest in mowers and field with hay on it, and we'd have to get into the silage, and we're not going to do that on this map. I mean, the, the goal here, again, everyone, is to uh, mainly focus on the factory work. For that, we need milk. We also need sugar, by the way. I, mean, I was kind of looking into that. Unless I'm missing something, I, mean, I do not see a sugar factory on this map. So if someone happens to know, like, is there a sugar factory on this map? Would be appreciated uh, to know. Yeah, I guess there is a back drive there. We'll just keep going around this way, I guess. Just uh, don't mind me cutting through our field here. Or what used to be our field, maybe I should say. Let's see if I can uh, smooth out some of these terrain things here that uh, place in this building caused. I mean, probably, well, actually, no, that's not half bad. Can I get in here a little bit further? Oh, perfect. Look at that. Just drop those off right there. I will take that. Hey, okay, and it took all those bales. And okay, now I'm curious to see how full that is, everyone. Oh, and I made that turn. I'm not sure how, but somehow we made that turn. Okay. How full is this? Uh, can we see this information anywhere? Or is that not... Uh, we're not allowed to see that. Also, I'm curious what it takes to get that working. Uh, are we, like, all up and running here, then? Uh, straw... Okay, I'm not sure why it doesn't say straw there. It says straw down there. 49. Do we have to, like, bring straw somewhere else, too? Like, this doesn't just give straw... I mean, it's, it's got the straw right there. Why would it not just give straw everywhere? I needed the uh, other door there. No. Wonder what this is. Maybe we don't need straw. Hard to say. Don't know. Doesn't seem to be taking straw anywhere. Then I can tell anyway. It's also possible we won't take it in the bailed form if it does need straw. So we'll uh, we'll figure that out here in a minute. Hopefully. Worst case, we just got to get our straw shredder we sold here a couple episodes back. Okay, let's go see what the menu says. What is the menu saying here for cow barn with feeding lot? Oh, I don't have any, uh, don't have any cows yet, do I? <laughs> Just realized I, mean, I completely forgot to get cows, didn't I? Um, what is this? Oh, there's something here, isn't there? Oh, that's milk. That's probably the milk pickup, I bet. Okay, well, we got Brown Swiss, Holstein. Why is there two? Ah, uh, okay. And puberty's 18 months. Age is zero, I take it. Okay. 12 months, gestation period is 10. Okay, so there's basically three of each one. So if you want to raise it from a small calf, everyone, all the way up, I don't know if you want to do that or not. And it looks like there's, what, four different ones? The limousine, the Angus, Holstein, and the brown Swiss. So probably Holstein. I know that's a good milk cow. What does it say about this one? Produces milk. This type of cow bred for profit and can be sold. Ah, interesting. I'm curious what you do with this if you spent that for that one. Then what? Hmm. I guess if you're for reproduce reproduction, maybe that might be why you would buy that one. Okay, if we were to buy, I think it holds 80, 60. That is 99,000. Or We can save ourselves about 30. Or we can, wow, for 15. But then we'll have to wait 18 months. Hmm. Do we want to wait 18 months? Sure, why not? 
Worst case, I'm just do got to do some extra sleep, and we can we can do that. Okay, now that's supposed to hold. I thought it was 80 cows. Go look at this here again. I thought it said 80, but I could be wrong. And that maybe it was only 60. So animals, cows. Yeah, it does say 80. Okay. Okay, there we go. I, I guess the 60, like the most you can buy at a time, maybe. There we go. Now we got 80 of them. So total effectiveness, uh, mixed rations. And do we just have to like let this thing run then, I'm assuming? Min oh, mineral feed. Mineral feed. Okay. Yeah, I just realized I mean, there's another type there. That's right. Oh, you know what? Mineral feed. I think there was a pallet for that, wasn't there? Pig food. No. Ah, uh -huh. mineral feed. Okay, thought there was. Yep. Not entirely sure what that does. We'll have to find out. Uh, bond silage, silage additive. Okay, that sounds cool. Uh, yeah, I guess we're going to need probably some of this then. And we can only buy one at a time, really. I don't know how much they take. Let's just buy, we'll buy four of them. We'll go grab our other trailer here then. Because the other trailer here holds pallets. I don't know if this one... Yeah, it says it's specifically for bales. So I doubt it holds bales. You never know. Or, I mean, holds pallets. We'll drop this one back off here again in a minute. Park that there. Let's go grab our other smaller pallet trailer. We drive on the wrong side of the road. Okay, then in the shop we go up and we'll go grab the mineral feed, whatever that is supposed to be. I'll have to figure out where it goes to, because I'm not sure, like, where do you put that over there? I don't know. Actually, you know what? That's right. There was a spot inside of it, so that might be where the mineral feed goes. That might be also where we need to figure out where the straw goes. I'll we'll have to figure that out here, too, and I'm not sure. Do we just have to wait for the feeder to do its thing? I'm hoping that's what the case is, and we just got to wait for the feeder to do its thing. Oh, hey, car just stopped pulling out almost in front of us. You know, if the AI drivers don't uh, listen to the laws of the road, I don't see why I have to. I don't see them uh, watching stop signs and stuff like that. Uh, big bags, we need to switch that to girl pallets. There we go. That that's that's a tree, Randy. That that is a tree. Can't be driving through trees now for some reason. Uh, got another load of oats sitting there too, by the way. And obviously you can probably tell. Just wait to uh, take that up. Whoa, let's throw some traps in there. I forgot about that one. Uh, with this trailer here, it loads them, but it doesn't actually like hold them in place. You actually have to like put all the straps on yet. Compared to the bale trailer, that one where you just you auto load the bales, so you don't have to do anything else. It actually like they're held in place by the auto load function. And actually, if you put a bale on there, it's just actually a visual look of the bale on the trailer. It's not actually a bale on the trailer. Not until you actually unload it. Okay, let's see what's here. Inside? I'm, I'm guessing inside, because I don't think there's really a spot here for that, is there? No, it doesn't look like it. Speaking of silage, by the way. Okay, yeah, there's definitely more silage than anything else in here. I wonder if it holds 100,000. These both hold 50. I wonder if this is 100. It's not full yet, I don't think. Although a hard 70 it doesn't show a percentage, does it? And unfortunately, obviously, you can't see... Oh, we still got uh, zero there, don't we? 
Total mixed rations, 100%. Doesn't say anything about mineral here, does it? Cows like grass, hay, sage. Additionally, they require water. Uh, straw, so yeah, it don't. It doesn't have a water fill, which to me would make sense. I mean, that, like I said, that just the whole concept of filling with water just, I don't know, seemed extremely retarded to me, to be honest. Okay, let's go inside here. I have no idea where you bring the mineral. Shows it here. Mineral feed, zero liters. Like, where do we go with the mineral feed? Oh, we can just squeeze in here. Yeah, with our tools on. Mineral feed is not accepted here. Okay, well, where is it accepted then? That's water. Cool. Hey, cow. Um, is there another... Thing out here somewhere? No. Okay. Oh, there's something. Wow, this looks like it's for slurry. Yeah, we got something there, but that looks like that looks for slurry. Oh, where would you bring mineral feed, I wonder? Oh, that's going to be a little bit... Uh, Tight. Nope, really. Hmm. Let's see if this works. Aha, it does. Perfect. Goodbye, tree. You've been kind of a pain anyway. Oh. Well, that's... Okay, I just noticed something here. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's... uh. That's, uh, okay then. That's what happens if you put your shed cow barn a little too close to the creek here. Apparently the creek now has to flow uphill and back down here. That's, uh, that's some interesting gravity there. Very interesting. But don't mind me. I was just uh, aimlessly driving around my cow barn trying to figure out where, where to bring mineral to. Pretty sure that's a loading spot. That would make sense for that. Where, where else would you bring? Because, I mean, I can't... I don't think you can get anywhere else, can you? Let's find this door. Now, there's that one. Grab one and throw it in here once. See what happens, I guess. No, nope, that doesn't seem to do anything. I went, so I'm not sure. Oh, I mean, just uh, walking around with the mineral feed pallet. Hey, cows, where, where do you where do you want your mineral feed at? Well, what? I have no idea. Like, mineral feed is not accepted here. Okay. Well, but I might have to... Oh, wait a minute. What is this here? Aha. That's what that little symbol is for, everyone. Perfect. Found it. Okay, tractor. Go grab the rest of them. Bring them over there. And we drove past it here too yet, didn't we? I, would, I missed that uh, symbol on the wall. Okay, you're not going to take the straps off? Really? There we go. Okay, no idea how much they need. Looks like they're going to take all of that. Yep, they definitely did. They most definitely took all of that. Is there like a percentage over here? Okay, they got 4,200 liters of mineral feed. I have no idea, like, 
Is that full? Is that almost full? Is that barely full? Doesn't show on this screen either, so I have no idea. That's that's a little bit a uh, little bit of a problem there, if you ask me. Oh, no, Giants didn't think that one through very well, did they? Yeah, didn't think that one through very well at all. Also, this still is not feeding the cows. So I'm not sure. Like, am I doing something wrong here, everyone? Think they have everything they need at this point here. Yeah, food is zero liters. Of, it's because this thing is not working right. We have to like activate this thing somehow. I'm gonna guess someone you just have to wait. That that's my assumption. So anyway, with that I wanna guess it's close enough to wrap it. Actually it is time to wrap it up this episode, isn't it? So yeah, with that one. We're going to wrap it up here this episode. If you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. And as always, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, till next time. And I just realized, somehow we actually did manage to spend the entire episode working on the house. Um, okay, don't know how we managed that, but uh, somehow we managed.